this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what goes through my mind in a live game of Weekend League in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, uh, my channel is all about helping you get better at Madden 21. If you want to get better, we upload videos every day that can help you become a better offensive and defensive player in this game. Now the first tip that I have for you is to always choose to kick as your first option. So if you win the coin toss, you always want to choose to kick. You can set that in your settings. Either you need to do that in mutt and you also need to do that in regs just so that you always have that. As you can see here, we're able to win that coin toss and we are going to kick the ball off uh, which I think is a huge, huge, huge first tip um, and very, very important. You just always want to have that as your setting. Um, it's just the best way to play the game. Now, on offense, I'm going to be running the Trips Tight End Offensive Guide. Uh, you can get that in the description for just $10 if you want to get that. And on defense, I'm running the 335 Wide Defensive Guide. It's been the best defense all season long. Um, I'm going to be running my version of it. I think the way that I run it is absolutely insane. And if you want to get my entire defensive guide, the exact defense that you're going to see me running in this video, uh, you can get that in the description below for just 15 bucks. Now, real quickly here, you're going to notice at the bottom left that the clock is kind of ticking down on me a little bit. When that clock gets to one second, uh, I am going to pause it just like that. And then I'm going to hit circle and you're going to notice that I'm going to get 15 additional seconds uh, to be able to make my adjustments and to be able to get all of my uh, situational, you know, kind of substitutions onto the field uh, exactly the way that I want them. So like right here, and we're gonna probably have to take a timeout just because, so like right here, okay, we're gonna take timeout. Another way you could do it, if you don't wanna take a timeout, is you could go off sides as well. It's another little another little uh, tactic for you. But again, DK Metcalf there, Delpit there, and then I've got uh, Sean Griffin there. And okay, perfect. So it uh, looks like we're gonna be playing some Gun Bunch tight end, uh, which is a really, really, really good offense. So we'll see how we do against this. Probably going to start out with a little bit of a, got to think, okay, a little inside switch. Um, trying to force the force feed the corner route, and we almost take that away. That's the beauty of this defense. It's really, really good against trips, uh, sets, whether it be trips tight end, whether it be bunch, whether it be um, bunch tight end, uh, which is what my opponent's running here. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of set up a couple of other adjustments but right here. And again, you notice that he's running his bunch to the short side of the field. Just kind of something that you pick up on, you know, it's typically not too strategic uh, to do that. But like right here, gonna try to force it again. I got Shaq Griffin out there again, and we're gonna be able to put ourselves in a decent position. So now this brings up a third down and 10 against um, double sets. So like gun normal, gun spread, five wide even, you're gonna see that I'm gonna tend to run uh, cover three match. And then against sets like what I'm facing right now, um, I am gonna tend to run, you know, basically this quarters kind of coverage right here. So we'll see how this works out for us. There's a corner route. We're gonna go ahead and click that spy in. We're gonna go get him ourselves. Montez Sweat just made the play of the game so far. That was a huge play by that three rec. That's why three rec hooks are so glitchy and so important. If you're running any type of match defense, you really need to put a three rec hook on the field. They really um, they can help a lot with those motion slants, those curls, hitches, things like that. And this is exactly how we want to start a game. This is about as perfect a start as you could possibly get. We're going to get the ball back on offense. We're going to do a little stop and go. And really right here on this drive, and I know you don't ever want to like limit yourself, but we, I do want you to know that uh, my primary agenda on this drive right here um, is to get a, a field goal. Okay, I, I would like to get a touchdown, obviously, we all would, but my, my primary objective, how I'm going to know if this drive was a success or not, is did I get a field goal, okay, did I get a field goal, so like right here, uh, we're just going to come out and trip side, we're probably just going to run inside zone first, just going to get our, get our adjustments set up, I was setting up my goal line, uh, just to kind of set that up, uh, just so that I'm ready to go with that, but anyway, right here, a little inside zone, Derrick Henry, not exactly the best run, but uh, it'll do. And let's see. Okay. So there's trips tied in. That's set up. And then let me just make an audible here. And one last thing here. Let me set this formation up. One more thing. And we'll just come out in this. I'm we'll actually just audible down to fullback dive. This is just something that I do to kind of start out games. Um, especially if I get ball at half, 
I really like this. It's just kind of like, you know, it just kind of keeps it simple. Now it does put me in a third down position right off the bat, which is not a great, you know, ideally you wouldn't have, you know, ideally we would have been able to do that in one play. Um, you know, it is what it is, but anyway, so we got Isaac Bruce there and then we want to have Reggie Bush right there. Okay. So, uh, and then we're going to run curl flat. And of course we ran to the wrong side, so we're going to flip it. Okay, so uh, here we're just kind of getting started, uh, kind of expecting to see uh, cover three here. We're going to have a nice little hard left pass lead. Very good pass lead there by Griffin. Um, exactly what we're looking for. Now he's running three Sam Blitz. Um, it's a little bit of a different style of cover three. So that's just something to kind of be aware of. Uh, here we're going to shift back. We're just going to kind of keep going with the inside zone. Uh, right there, a little double juke. Uh, just to try to come I mean, in it's I'm not I'm not playing that great as far as like user skill right now but because he's running this three sam will um, you're going to see that i'm going to be a little bit more willing to do something like this right here this verticals concept uh, just kind of testing it a little bit uh, seeing kind of what happens we'll just do a little garbage time scramble rg3 get up now uh, third and one this is a situation these are situational things um, in this year's game, because of how good the fullback dive is, I will typically, if I'm in a third and one position, you are going to see that I will almost always heavily lean on this. Um, that right there, that exact adjustment right there, that will win you so many games. Um, it's a simple little adjustment, but I find that it's 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 very, very, uh, I mean, it's just very, very effective. Uh, here, just going with a simple little read option. And the main reason I went no huddle there was I didn't know if I had gotten it or not. So, anyway, back to the trips tight end. Second down and seven. We're in a pretty good spot here. Uh, I like to go to this play in the red zone. Do a little delay fade. Kind of a max protect setup. We're really looking to hit this corner route. And I have him wide open. I have the delay fade wide open, and he just doesn't release. <sighs> kind of unfortunate. So now we're in a situation where uh, we're actually going to just take the time here uh, to just go ahead and set up a couple other formations. I think this is really important. So like right here, uh, I know that I've got, you know, I know that I've got a certain level of time. I'm going to just let this kind of, you know, kind of expire here, and I'm going to set up this I form. Uh, each slot as well. We we'll put Derrick Henry in there, and then I'm going to put two. What I like to do with this, I actually like to put my tight end. Um, I actually like to put put my tight end in a slot for this 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 uh, scheme. So like right here, you see George Kittle's going there, and then uh, Cooley's going over there, and then Vernon Davis is going here. Um, just kind of setting up some goal line packages. And we're going to go to our play that we need to go to whenever we need a chunk play, uh, this PA shot wheel. And we're actually going to run it like this. It's normally would want to run this flipped, but we're going to do it like this. The main reason is just, honestly, I just wasn't paying attention. But you can run this either way because it's a crossing round. There's that delay fades. And that's what we were trying to hit last time. Okay, so now it's kind of decision time. And what I'm going to do is, is, and this is kind of, I think, strategic, but we are going to actually go for this, but we're not, we're, we're only going to, we're not going to like force it, okay? Uh, we're going to go for it, but only if he gives us a good look. So like right here, so he's in 3-3-5 wide. That to me is a good look. So I know, okay, I can do this. And we're just trying to truck through here. And just get the first down exactly what we wanted and unfortunately we end up fumbling that's best case scenario for him um so i'm not mad at that honestly i do the same thing again i might want to shift to conservative but i don't know i mean i feel like that was the right call and we just live with the fumble that's okay obviously we wanted to get three though all right so here this is my favorite defense for this situation um Look at this thing, just freaking blanket everything. Great defense by me. Um, that's that's that Mike Blitz 3 that I'm talking about. And we're not running it in the conventional way where you're putting your zone drops and stuff. We're actually running this a little bit um, a little bit differently. And I actually really like the difference um, that we're using this. Um, 
you'll see it just really stick like glue to everybody. There, throws right into two people. Unfortunately, we didn't get a pick. And that's probably on me for not clicking onto him. But until he can beat my base defense, I'll sit in this for the majority of the game. He's not having a lot of success right now against my base uh, defense. So we're actually playing pretty decently. Um, right here, we just have to be a little bit careful of the crosser. If we see a crosser, that's where we're going. And there we go. Mike Evans making the play. And uh, we're able to get into pretty decent scoring range right here. So 15-yard line. So right here, and I know this sounds a little bit, um, I know this sounds a little bit weird, but <laughs> um, my entire goal right here is to get to halftime, is to kick a field goal with um, not very much time left on the clock. That's my entire goal. So you're going to see, I'm going to move to, you know, different types of things. Like right here, I'm going to go to bunch tight end, kind of fake some hot routes, um, and then just go you know and that's okay that's okay i'm okay with that um i've already decided ahead of time i'm just trying to get three on this drive if he gives me a touchdown i'll take it but i'm not gonna force anything uh you're gonna see i'm gonna be pretty um pretty reserved in how i do this it's like right because i just want to make sure that i can i want to make sure that i can go into halftime up by one possession that's really the goal here so nice little stop and go got me through so like right here, we're taking this all the way to the two minute warning. Not even not even a conversation, not even a thought. And really our goal here is we ideally will pick up this first down um, with with a little bit of um, a little bit of yardage left to go, uh, so that we can you know work some clock off the fullback dives and things like that. So third and three situation here, and we're actually going to go to the gun bunch uh, in this situation. We're going to go to the HB base. I uh, really like this little short side. This is a nice little quick audible. It really actually happens a lot faster than people think. And it's hard to shoot this run. And as you can see there, he falls forward. So we kind of pay him back a little bit for that situation on that last drive where we fumbled. And we put ourselves in a good position. We fell forward, kind of rolled into it. And now this is where we can take some clock. Uh, this is where we can take some clock here. We're going to set it up. But we really want to try to snap this ball as close to zero as possible. Um, and just go through and you know do our best here to just like I said kick the field goal with uh, Minimal amount of time left on the clock. So I saw a quick snap here Henry and that's fine That's why we're on conservative no fumbles, you know really just trying to kind of keep everything in front of us here and um, Force him to at least take his timeouts to at least we at least want to take his timeouts um, That's our biggest thing here. So So like right here you see I'm going down a halfback sting Playmaker, trying to take as much time as possible. And okay, we're in for touchdown. Okay, so I mean, that wasn't like perfect, but that was pretty decent. We were able to take a, a significant amount of the time off the clock. So now we put him back in a position where he has to throw, right? Um, he's gonna have to push the ball down the field. He has shown us that he's not the greatest passer in the world, or at least that our defense is playing great. Um, and so what this is going to do is now he's got 50 seconds to get down and score. And likely he's going to go down and score a field goal if he's going to score at all. As long as we're intentional with our defense and we're playing strategically, um, he's, he should only be able to score a field goal. As a result of that, we're going to get the ball coming out of halftime with a full 10 minutes where we can work the clock, we can drive, and we can get out there and try to go score a touchdown. So even if he scores a field goal, if we go down and score a touchdown on our drive out of half, uh, we're, we put ourselves in a two possession advantage. Uh, and and, and that's, a huge, that's a huge place to be. So anyways, right here, you know, I'm gonna stay disciplined defensively. So far, uh, the defense has been doing exactly what we want it to do. So we'll see if, uh, we'll see kind of how uh, he wants to proceed. I didn't get all my adjustments off there. I gotta watch that tight end, watch that crosser. And that's not too bad. That's not too bad. That was actually a really good call by him. Let's see if he goes to it again. Nope. Go get that, go get that, go get that, go get that. All right, good defense. 
And you see, I mean, that's kind of his thing. He wants to roll out and throw that corner, but it's not going to be open. That, that match defense is way too effective for that. The crossing route is really the primary thing here. Go get him. Yeah, that's exactly what I, mm, that's on me. That's exactly what I needed the guard to. Gosh, dang it. Right here, we're gonna be a little bit there. That's the route we need to go get. That's the route I was trying to get back down on. I don't know what I was doing there. All right, so six seconds. And he did a good job. I mean, he had a really good drive. And right here, we need our defense to stand up for us. This would be a huge stop. If we can force him to take enough time. And I got him just short. Perfect defense. Okay. And I kind of knew that he wanted to roll out. I kind of knew that he wanted to roll out, so we were able to kind of set that up a little bit. But that was, I mean, that was a good drive by him. That was a really good drive. See here, this is why we do not come out and select our special teams play, whatever we're receiving. If you look to the bottom left here, you're going to see that it says onside kick. So we just go down and hit onside recover. Most of the time when you hit onside recover, you're going to get it. Uh, what I like to do is like click on to one of the guys and just run them straight forward. As you can see right here, you can get down. Perfect. It's actually not a bad decision by him because it does put us in a position where we can't really like clock it out now. You know what I mean? We can't take the whole clock, but we can take a lot of it. So and that's exactly what we're going to try to do on this drive. And we also know that a lot of people like to go to Mike Blitz 3. So I'm going to go to a little setup I like to do. Um, if my opponent's running a lot of cover 3, and there it is, a little laser right there, a little quick dot. Easy read. If, they're, if they drop off in a cover three or even a Tampa two times, you're going to have a pretty good opportunity to be able to beat it. Now, we saw that he was running some uh, cover two. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. I should have called a timeout right there. That was almost really, really bad. Um, I hit the wrong button three different times. I ended up putting the wrong routes on the field. And I think that'll actually be open again. Oh my goodness. I almost threw an interception because I can't hit the dang button. So I'm going to hit square if square is open. That's what we're looking for right there. And you see there it is open again. So he's running that underneath heavy Tampa 2 look to try to stop us and deter us from throwing little hitches and little quick outs. And so we're able to hit him over the top. Now it looks like here he is going to go ahead and quit out. He's not in a great position. Uh, we played pretty solid across the board. And he is going to go ahead and concede. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to get the exact offense and the exact defense that I used in this gameplay, you can get them both down in the description.